All right, guys, welcome back. This is part four of Blood and Wine. Let's go talk to Regis and get ready to go. Regis. Ah, there you are. Might we set off for Tesha Mudna now? See no reason to dawdle. Tesha Mudna. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? <sighs> Blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <sighs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies... An ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout, fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. Great many beings have breathed This place their is last so year. damn creepy. I fucking love it though. <laughs> it's very distinct and different to a few of the places that we've actually visited in previous missions. Uh, I just wanted to say though, this game is hugely cutscenes. Glyphs are carved into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of uh, what you would call tribes. Dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us all where we came from. Cells? Who for? Ah, disgraceful. Excruciatingly so, this particular page from our history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. Who's this, this cliff? Amarun. They ventured beyond the sea. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east, beyond the Blue Mountains. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishem. My tribe, and Dedlaf's. We both remained in this part of the world.
charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagma ranted and raged in pain as those... those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I've prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. Alright, so let's place the bait place to try and get uh, all these monsters around. I'm going to save my fucking game entrances. though because... Uh, monsters will well, you know, I don't, I don't want to be fucking set back. Like about an hour. Catch it sent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, send shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Yeah, this game is mostly fucking dialogue and cutscenes. Like, there's a lot of action in it too, but I barely ever get to talk in this. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm not complaining. I really enjoy the cutscenes and shit. I just hope that you do too. This should be interesting to see how Regis kind of like turns. It will he look a lot like Detlef? Three done. One left. Think this will work? I certainly hope so. The meat stench is so thick I wager it carries clear to the <laughs> Alright, this is the last one. Hopefully this should start coming out. Alright, we'll tell Regis we're ready to fight. Where are you? Asa. Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. Uh, we must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent. Also, my head has started spinning. That the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Maybe we need a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Somehow. Please. Mm -hmm. We just have smelled the blood.
little longer. Blood'll dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother you anymore. Get you out of here. You can't finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better, thank you. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found Dedloff some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No. Because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you. The pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Dedloff. If I had to do it again, I would, in a heartbeat. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jumped the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I have a meeting. The Count... Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlav? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What?
Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes. That you'd... departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems Dedlaff had made friends with him. Still killed him. Chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury. Remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm. Interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Detlef first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Detlef. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. All right, let's head off to the boot black. I have no idea where he is. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? His father. And you won't touch him. I won't let you. Oh, poppycock. I knew his father. A grifter, a cheat, just like his brood. I'll teach him honesty. He'll not leave muck at our shop door just to draw patrons to his own stall. So back away, drifter. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Yeah. Now, now, let's not do anything rash. Circle, Circle him! Circle him! <gasps> teach you <gasps> to help scoff lords and cheats. I'll avenge you, comrade! Oh. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men? What are they doing? Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot... That's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But 
My boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stunt. A seat, sir, please. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand, with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know, for free. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. As you wish, sir. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Hmm, yeah. Saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Red door. One the boot black mentioned. Down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? Skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. He's not here. 
but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. This is no time for idle chatter. We must find Detlaf. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. Attic. Let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Tools were used recently. Detloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renawed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlaf killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Never meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I am no humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Even if Renawed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more.
Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyrin, Count de Lacroix. Detloff's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire, but I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insist is no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Detlaf's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. Actually, it is. Detlaf's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowed, render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'd have wait with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Alright, so that is really, really interesting. I didn't think that Detlaf would be as innocent Ow! as he actually is. Uh, so someone is... In the shadows, twisting his arm, in my old man, have you? and it's it's kind of creepy that you know that they have this much power over a fucking vampire. But for some reason, one part of me is thinking that it's actually the Duchess or someone in the royal family up at the castle who's actually planned all this shit out. So we'll see in the next episode. Can I shoot your crossbow? No, you fucking can't, you little squirt. All right, <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Part five.